Burian's in recovery mode after a lengthy homeless takeover outside City Hall. I haven't observed or heard any adamant defiance. On Friday, the men and women living in tents were ordered out after months of complaints from neighbors and business owners. I'll be honest, I'm kind of happy with the way things are going so far. The encampment residents were blamed for a rise in property crimes in the area, open air drug use and fires. They should definitely be able to stay on public property. Even though some neighbors advocated for the homeless to stay. There's nowhere for them to go, you know, they're getting swept everywhere out of Seattle, so now they're coming over here. The move seemed to be going according to plan. Oh, okay, hold on. Outreach groups and local ministries spent weeks trying to convince people to take shelter or enter detox programs. We've taken about two already to the church. And a few took them up on these offers. They got hot showers, they got food set up. But no one was expecting this. It's like a whack-a-mole sort of situation. Multiple people on the ground say Burien City Council member Sidney Moore. Who's coming in and telling people to go up there. Directed some of the homeless to a plot of city land just a block away. They didn't go there of their own volition. Right next to a family dental practice in the heart of Burien's business district. We are not going to let this happen. Over the weekend, I reached out to more numerous times for comment, but still no response. However, she did put out a statement in the B-Town blog, saying all she did was notify the homeless of their rights to sleep outdoors if there's no shelter space available in the city, citing the groundbreaking Supreme Court case Martin v. Boise. Moore went on to say in part, I acted on my own accord as a concerned individual and a leader tasked with ensuring the safety of all people in our city. I never relied on anybody in the past seven years. And that's exactly why Alex Guillen says he moved all his belongings and set up right on the lawn at the corner of Southwest 152nd Street and 6th Avenue, just a block away from City Hall. And now our um, livelihoods, our neighborhood, and our city is at risk. Attorney John Cannon is preparing to file a class action lawsuit against the city for this mess and says Moore should be recalled for failing to perform her duty as a council member. If they told the citizens that they're going to get rid of the homeless camp, and they did, but then they moved it a block away, that would seem to be misfeasance. And we actually had a tent out here. Council member Stephanie Morris says what's happening now is undermining the spirit of the city's anti-camping laws in public parks. How long can this homeless stay there now? Um, right now, unless someone steps up and is able to lease it from the city, they can stay there indefinitely. There's not a lot of options for them. Scott Law owns the electric train shop across the street from this new encampment. I don't know what else alternatives I have. And says he wants to give it a chance before railroading the idea. Well, I'm sympathetic to them. Um, they need to live somewhere.